Everyone's always looking for the edge in the stock market to make some extra profit, but what if I told you it could be as easy as just reading candlesticks properly? That's how I make money, that's the strategy I use in the stock market, and I'm gonna teach it to you in this video, stay tuned. So Market Moves is back with a brand new channel, so make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss a beat. I've tried everything possible to add a little bit more edge to my trading strategy, whether it's adding more indicators to my screen to give me more buy and sell signals, charting triangles, or maybe it's just adding volume and understanding that better. But none of that compares to the edge I have gained from understanding candlesticks properly. That is the most simple way to have success in the stock market, and I'm gonna teach it to you with all my favorite candlestick patterns. Because the truth is, whether I'm day trading, swing trading, or long-term investing, recognizing candlesticks properly has led me to have more success. Whether it's better entry points, better exit points, the details you're gonna gain from all of this will help you out more than any other indicator on the market. I really don't wanna waste any of your time. I'm gonna give you some free content for my stock market domination course. If you're interested in buying this seven video lesson course, you're gonna get six months in my trading group. But we're gonna focus on this value right here. I'm gonna give you completely for free. This is candlesticks and we're gonna learn about all the most important concepts before we get into the most popular candlestick patterns. I want you to recognize a couple things here, bullish candles, bearish candles, indecisive candles, inside candles, common candles, most importantly, wicks and bodies. So we're gonna do all of that just using the chart right here with BYND Beyond Me. The first thing you want to do as a trader ever is recognize the trend. Know where the stock is going so you can play that momentum, whether it's options or stocks or even futures. The only way you can recognize trends is to look at the candlestick. And this is a bearish candle right here. This is going to tell you whether the trend is going down. If you can find a candle just like this, it's going to help you ride any short position and have success. Let me tell you the details about this candle so you can have some more success in the market. So a big bearish candle is something that you want to find that drops from the lows of the previous day. So this could be a candle that either gaps down or just starts from the previous day's close and just drops right away. This candle is going to drop the whole day and end at the lows with a small wick. And what you want to know here is that if the wick is large, that means that the trend is most likely not going to continue the next day. The two biggest things you ever want to learn about candlesticks are the bodies and the wicks. And the two things I want you to take away from this video is a body is strength and the wicks are the weakness. If the wicks are long, it indicates there's weakness in the stock, whether it's selling weakness or buying weakness or buyers and sellers are completely battling it out. And I'm going to show you what those candles look like right now, but we want to look for strong bodies because that indicates the trend and where the trend could be going. So right here, we have three strong bodies. One, two, three. The key here is you want to follow this trend when you see the candles almost completely full, no wicks. And right here we have a small wick, but it's not much for me to get worried about. Now let's reverse that, look for the bullish candles to try to figure out what those look like and where that bullish direction is. So here's that previous candle. We gapped up, which is a sign of direction, and the candle went from the lows of the day all the way to the highs with a very small wick at the high, which tells me that it's gonna continue probably for the next couple days. This is actually the 10 minute chart for the next 30 or 40 minutes. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, four bullish candles in a row that have no wicks at the tops and the bottoms, almost no wicks, they're very small, but that indicates the direction is strong. Great bodies, small wicks, go in that direction. That's one thing I want you to recognize before I show you these great candlestick patterns. The next thing I want you to learn is what wicks mean and how we can use them to trade. So right here is a huge green candle. We actually were in this trade for Beyond Meat on the drop down. So we made about 80% in my trading group. You can get that seven days for free link in the bio. But right about, here, the buyers absolutely took this stock from the lows of the day, completely engulfing the range previously and moved 
moving higher, but the key was $76 was humongous resistance. So we formed a wick there because most of the sellers put their orders up there. So that shows there's a lot of sellers in this area because the wick and we have the big body. So the buyers took it, sellers were all up in there, and then they took the stock even lower throughout the day. So this was a key indication Beyond Me didn't want to move higher. And the cool thing was an alert was sent out right to my trading group saying, Beyond Me shorts triggered if $76 fails. That's exactly what happened. $76 failed. We had a four point drop. Anyone could have traded that in my group. These alerts come out almost all the time for the group. And normally at the reversal point, what we wanna see is more wicks developing in the next couple candles. So the next candle we have is something we're gonna talk about later in this video. This is an indecisive candle. This is a candle that is mostly either a reversal candle or a sideways candle. But this showed us that the Beyond Meat stock didn't wanna continue higher after this huge green candle. So we had two wicks in a row, two large wicks from the buyers getting beaten down by the sellers. And then what do we have? A huge red candle, green candle, another huge red candle. So it showed us that there was some huge weakness up here because we saw the wicks. And at this point, you would have took off your long position, maybe entered a short position. This was a high probability area to go short. And this was only found just from reading the candlesticks. I could have done this easily if I was seeing this in the moment, but this is something you guys can see on any chart, any stock, just recognize the bodies and the wicks, and that's how you have success long term. But most importantly, there's all these types of candlestick patterns that also give us indication of what's gonna happen in the future. I'm gonna give you some of the best candlestick patterns you can use tomorrow to trade the stock market. And the first candlestick pattern we're gonna be talking about is the hammer, and this is where you have that small body and a long wick. So on the downtrend, if we see this forming at the bottom of the downtrend, this is most likely the bottom of where the stock is falling. This is a great place to exit, a great place to pick up long positions. I use this all the time. Same thing goes for the uptrend. If we start seeing these on the uptrend, that is a good sign that the uptrend is actually over. So if we see hammers at the bottom or hanging mans on the top, that's a great sign that the trend is over. We can reverse, get out of the position, and hopefully make some money on the opposite direction. I'm gonna show you on a real chart where we can spot these. So if you just look at this right away, there's one obvious one you can see as a hammer at the bottom and then a hammer at the top or what we call a hanging man. So I'm gonna plot the obvious one. The better thing is the longer the wick, the better it is for reversal. So the smaller the body, the better it is for reversal too. So at the bottom here, we have a green candle that is what we call a hammer. This was the bottom of the overall selling trend for the day, and then the stock reversed upwards. I'm gonna draw at the upwards part what we call a hanging man. At this point, this means we could reverse the other direction. So just day trading these patterns is so easy. You could have made money at the bottom and at the top. This was a whole $1 move and that would have indicated that the direction was gonna reverse. Also at the top, it would have told you to take profit. That's what I'm saying. When you use these patterns, it tells you not only to get in, but it also tells you when you should get out. If you can recognize candlesticks, it's gonna be game changing for you. Now let me show you my next candlestick pattern. My next favorite candlestick pattern is either the bullish engulfing candle or the bearish engulfing candle. So obviously during a downtrend, we will have a candle that is small and tiny and red. And sometimes at the bottom of that trend, we will get a green candle that completely encapsulates the price action of the previous candle. So it engulfs it, basically. And this just means we're gonna see more price action for the bulls, and this trend is gonna continue higher. This is a highly reversible candle, meaning you can make money at the bottoms when you see this candle, or at the tops when you see a bearish engulfing candle. Same thing, when we start going up on a trend, we have a tiny green candle, and then that next candle completely engulfs the whole body of that previous candle. So that, and the basic psychology here is that we have an uptrend, which means the buyers are strong, and then we have defined levels, basically the close or the open right here and the close of this candle. Those are important levels for the buyers to defend. So if the buyers can't defend the level on the next candle, that shows how weak they are. So the sellers basically struck through 
all important levels developed the previous day. And this candle right here is showing us that engulfing candle. And that's basically what happens behind the scenes. But we get that continuation candle next. And I'm gonna show you on the charts what that looks like in real time. And I wanna make it known your edge in the stock market is not by finding one candlestick pattern and making tons of money from it. Your edge is when you find that candlestick pattern and you can also add on some more evidence whether it's gonna reverse or go in your direction that's how you have success long term giving yourself the best statistical edge that the trend or the pattern is going to go in your favor so i'm going to give you an example that we traded in my trading group for 200 percent return in a one day holding period seven days for free if you want to try this group link in the bio so right here we're hitting high resistance on this trend line for apple the second time we came up here i saw weakness in the stock when we had this inside candle as you can see big green candle inside candle showing weakness showing a period of consolidation we entered long positions on the next day at 268 and we had what we call an engulfing candle what i'm basically trying to teach you right now so this candle engulfed the whole previous range of that tiny tiny candle that day and because we ended at the lows of this candle basically selling the whole day I told the group, I think we should hold. I think we're going to get a further move the next day. And the stock gapped down from 263 all the way down to 256 at the low the next day. So that shows you that strong candle led to a continuation, which also led to huge profits for us. Our target price was 268, 262 right here. We want to make money here. We ended up getting an extra two or three dollar move just because of that intense gap down. So when you can find these candles, it just really helps you nail big profits and hit that zone. I can go on and on and on. There is thousands of candlestick patterns you can use to give you the edge for trading, but you just need to find a couple that help you out. This is just a sheet showing you the most common patterns. I'm not gonna go over any more. The last thing I wanna show you is the key to integrating these patterns and having success. And this involves looking at the volume along with the candlestick pattern because these patterns happen all the time in any place in the stock market. And if you're just buying and selling on a whim, you're not gonna have success. Like I said previously, the way you have success in the stock market is by stacking on evidence. The more evidence you can stack on, the higher chance you're gonna have success, make profits, and be consistent long-term. So let's give you that next edge right now. This is volume along with candlestick patterns. How to read those together and what they look like. So as you can see on my screen, I don't have volume, unfortunately. So I have to add that using tradingview.com. Pretty easy, you just type in volume, click over here, and then boom, you get this on the bottom right here. And we're gonna combine this with a candlestick pattern. So right here, engulfing candle, and we also have a volume bar here. We wanna also compare these volumes to the past just to see if it's relatively high or relatively low. As we can see on the sell-off right here for Apple, volume is relatively low to the past selling volume. So right here, it wasn't too convincing that this engulfing candle you know, was gonna continue long-term. It might've gave us a short-term move like this one, but this wasn't sufficient evidence to let me know that this trend was gonna continue over time. And the key to knowing that this trend was gonna end, I'm gonna zoom out just so you can see the volume a little bit better, is at the bottom of this sell-off, this gap down, we formed that one pattern I told you about today, the hammer at the bottom. And this is confirmation of the bottom because here we have extremely high volume, whether it's buying volume, selling volume, this is a place where the buyers and sellers completely battled the whole day and formed this tiny candle where we ended up closing at the highs and rejecting the lows. So this candle right here in the middle of this chart is telling me that the selling is over, that this is the reversal candle. And as you can see, the next two days straight, straight buying came into the market for Apple. And this was a great sign. So this is how I look at volume. If you get a crazy high volume reading with a bottoming candle or a toppy candle, that tells me personally that the trend is over because right here we have a red candle with very low volume. So the other way you can look at this is if volume on the uptrend is continuously, continuously getting smaller and smaller, this also tells me that the trend is getting weak. 
So what we're looking for on reversals, when we're looking at these reversal candles, is either extremely high volume, or you wanna look at number two, diminishing volume as we get closer and closer to resistance or possibly a stock going higher and higher. So if we see that volume dropping off, that is key that the buyers are getting weak. There's less and less buyers the higher it goes up. So they're not supporting the price. And when it pulls back, it pulls back hard. Just a key thing I wanna tell you about, when a stock pulls back, the amount it's gonna pull back is fully dependent on how much buying was in the past levels. Because if there's low volume, the stock's gonna pull back much higher, harder because there wasn't a lot of buying at those levels. So it's very easy for sellers to just knock out all the previous levels that were developed in the past. So just like here, I'm gonna zoom in just a lot more so you can see it. As we went up on this trend, one, two, three, four, five candles, we had lower, lower, and lower volume. So the next candle knocked out one candle, two candles, three candles, and almost four candles. The reason it didn't drop below this is because this is a place where the higher volume was. So as we went up and developed those levels, there was weak developments. And because of that, on the first pullback, we were able to just knock them all out. I wanna show you one more key. This is Beyond Meat. This is a stock we traded in my premium group today for 80% return on the way down. So this is that daily. And we're gonna be looking at volume along with candlesticks to tell if this stock is gonna continue or if it's gonna reverse. So this trend right now in Beyond Meat has been straight down. So one big candle with huge selling volume, another candle, big selling volume, another candle, big selling volume, and then the last candle, big selling volume. But here's the key. This candle did not close at the lows. This candle reversed completely. So this is a possible reversal candle because we have high volume. Relative to the past, the volume was diminishing every single day beyond meat went down. So because of the lack of volume coming in, the lack of selling coming in, this tells me that the buyers are finally getting strong at this point and we could possibly see this stock run above $76 next week, all because we found a candle that is likely a reversal candle and we saw the volume was relatively high. So one reason I would think it would continue lower is if the volume was very low on this day and then the stock the next day stayed below the close. So if the stock stays below $73 the next day, that also tells me that we're gonna be looking pretty weak going forward. And I'm gonna be watching the volume pretty exclusively that next week to see that. So the whole message I want you to take away from this is that the key to having success in the stock market is not by getting that extra indicator to tell you to exactly buy and sell, although I do have that and I have made that, but the key is also not charting the right patterns. The key is actually reading candlesticks like a professional and understanding volume along with it. If you can combine both, that's where you're really going to have success in the stock market and be able to bring in those consistent profits every single day. So I hope this clears up what candlesticks you should be looking for and how to integrate that in your trading. But this is how I took my account from 3K to 45K and I'd love to teach you more in my stock market course. If you're interested in checking that out, you get six months free in my trading group. Link is in the bio, but if you want more free content, make sure you check. In this video, I want to teach you how to successfully trade the stock market in less than 20 minutes. If you watch it till the end of this video, yes, you will have all the skills possible to day trade the stock market today. Check out how to day trade like a professional in the video to the right of me.